Hi, my name is Jillian with the Wizards Tower. Okay, so now that we've created our account, I'm going to show you how to use the wishlist feature. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, let's say, Magic Singles section. And let me see, let's go for an older card from Marodin. And I want to get some foils. So we'll change the finish here to foil. You can also choose to display only ones that are in stock, or you can change it to show only out of stock foils. So this will show me what foils that we were looking for, like for example Chalice of the Void, or Duplicant. So I think I'm going to add Chalice of the Void to my wish list. So my wish list has been updated and now what I can do is I can click on the wish list tab here in my account and then it'll show me everything that I have added to my wish list. So I can click this to go and look at the card or I can click here to remove it from my wish list. When we get a copy of this card in stock I'll be sent an email with uh, a link to the product that'll take me here so I can purchase the card right from here once it's in stock. Once I get that email telling me that the card is in stock, the card is actually removed from this list. If I were to get the email for Chalice of the Void Foil, but I decide I don't want to buy it anymore and I haven't removed it from my wish list, then the card will be removed from my wish list automatically once I'm sent the email letting me know that there's one in stock. Uh, I would recommend that if you want to keep on getting notifications about whenever a card comes in stock, when you get the email, whenever you have a chance, go back and add the card to your wish list again, because otherwise you won't re receive a second notification letting you know that the card has come in stock again after you receive the first email. So every time you get an email letting you know we have a card in stock that's on your wish list, just add it to your wish list again if you would like to get more copies of the card or if you weren't picking the card up at that time. Okay, so that's how you use the wish list. Remember, if you have any questions, always feel free to send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.